mildly panicking about moving out. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode in The Moving Diaries. I have exactly one week until moving date and I still have so much to pack, so much to do. My room is untouched and honestly it feels a little bit overwhelming. But that is why this weekend I'm going to be dedicating myself to getting organized and at least making a start. I feel like it's a little bit hard to pack up my room right now because I still need to use some of the stuff and I still have a week left but my thought is that I'm gonna try and organize everything and kind of put everything into piles and then I will at least have a bit of a better visual of what I need to pack and what I need to get rid of. I feel like that would just help put my mind at ease and help me to kind of know what I have going. So that's my plan for this weekend is to sort through my bedroom, sort through my closet which is definitely the most daunting task and I have to be really picky about what I'm bringing with me because my space is so small because I'm in a little studio and I don't have a lot of storage space i have to be really picky and kind of bring the bare minimum i'll be leaving the rest here at my parents house and if i need anything they can bring it up or i can come and fetch it when i come to visit them <laughs> These are the books that I'm going to be bringing with me. These ones are some of my favorites and also covers that I really like. I kind of have this idea for an aesthetic little bookcase decor moment that I want to use these books as like the decoration. These are my favorite self-help books that I definitely want to reread and these are books that I have not read yet that I want to bring with me. As you can see I'm not taking a lot of books because I know for a fact that I will be buying more and like I said I don't have a lot of space so I'm only taking a few. And these are the books that I'm leaving behind. It makes me so sad that I have to leave behind any of my books. I love my books and I wish I could bring them all with me but sadly I can't so I have to pack these books up and put them into the closet. Oh my goodness, what an actual mess. I'm starting to think that this was maybe not the best strategy but we're gonna go with it. This is what I currently have going and now we just have to pack this all into a box. I am now realizing that I have far too many skincare products. This is all just skincare except for over there that's a first aid kit and some of my supplements and stuff but the rest of this is all skincare and I think I have too much. Good morning everyone. I woke up not that long ago and so I'm still pretty sleepy and I look like a mess but I feel like that's going to be a pretty common theme for this video. I thought I would sit down and chat a little bit because for the first time in a very long time, I am alone in the house. My house is normally very, very noisy and it's very rare when I have a moment that I can just sit and chat because there's always just so much noise going on in the background. So it is Saturday morning, which means that in less than a week, I am moving this time next week I will be fully moved into my apartment in Colorado and honestly I have been experiencing all sorts of emotions these past few days I feel a mix of worry and nervousness but also excitement and I feel ready but also not ready and just a lot of conflicting emotions and right now if I'm being totally honest I'm feeling really sad about leaving I'm gonna miss my family so much. I'm really blessed to be really close with them. We have a really good relationship and honestly, I just love living with them. The idea of leaving them is just really sad to me and I'm kind of struggling with that a little bit at the moment. This morning, it kind of hit me that this is my last weekend with them and it makes me really sad. <laughs> I mean, it's not like I'm never going to see them again, obviously, but it's just my last weekend living with them for a really long time, if not forever. It's why it kind of hit me this morning and I kind of had a moment and I'm having another moment apparently, but 
but I'm really excited about this next chapter and it's gonna be good. I know that this is God's plan for me. I think this move is gonna be really good for me and I'm feeling really positive. This is what we are currently working with. This is everything that I've boxed so far. So we have kitchen stuff here, some bathroom stuff, and then things that I've bought for my new apartment. I still have a lot to box. I still have to pack up my whole room, my closet, and the rest of my bathroom. And then I somehow have to fit this all into my car because my mom and I are driving up in my car and we're gonna drive all my stuff up and then she'll just fly back. And I somehow have to fit all of this in there. And my car's not that big. So I don't really know how we're gonna do it. We're gonna have to get clever, but It'll be fine. We'll figure it out. It'll be okay. It's my last Sunday at home. It's also my last Sunday going to this church and I'm feeling a little bit sad about it because I love this church. I've been going for almost a year and I just really, really like it. And I love my Sunday morning rituals of waking up, going to church with my family. This era is coming to an end, but I'll find a new routine in Colorado and it'll be good. I've been so happy ever. Good morning everyone, happy Monday. I just woke up so I look like a mess, but like I said, that is probably going to be a very common theme for this video. I am home alone again this morning, everyone is out for a few hours and it's actually very nice. While I love my family and I've actually really been enjoying having them all at home because I move in three days and then I won't be able to see them, so I've been really just trying to soak up this time with them. They are very noisy and I am enjoying just a little bit of peace and quiet to start this Monday because my mind is very all over the show and feeling pretty overwhelmed and stressed. The moving day is coming up very fast and I am mildly panicking about moving out. <laughs> and it's not really the fact that I'm moving out, it's more the fact that I'm moving states and going to be going to a whole new place all on my own. That's what intimidates me. but. I know that it's necessary and I know that it's God's plan for my life and everything will be fine but it is pretty nice to just kind of have a little bit of peace and quiet. I think I'm just going to take a little bit of time for myself, lie in bed, read a little bit before I get up and go on my morning walk and then get started with my day. I think that that will just really help calm my mind. I also had a little quiet time this morning and just prayed about it and that was really nice and that always really helps. I'm currently reading The Guest List by Lucy Foley and I'm sorry if I'm saying her last name wrong i could be butchering that but i'm trying to finish this book before i move because i don't want to take it with me i don't have much left so it should be doable to finish this in the next three days i'm having to be very picky about the books that i bring with me to my new apartment because it's very small and i don't have a lot of storage or a lot of space and i definitely don't have a space to put a big bookshelf so i'm only taking my absolute favorites and books that i want to reread again while i am really enjoying this book i don't think it will be one that i will be rereading anytime soon so at least not within the next year so i'm going to be leaving it at my parents house and i can get it at a later stage if i want to i've really been enjoying this book it's really different to what i've been reading i've been reading a lot of romances and this is a murder mystery so definitely a different pace but i've really been enjoying it i really like the way that she writes and i heard that some people found it really confusing with the, all of the switching of the characters but i feel like i've been able to follow along just fine and so i'm really excited to finish it because i want to know what happens now i feel like i've been rambling for way too long and everyone will be home <laughs> before i know it so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go and read I just wanted to 
you guys, I need my wand. I just bought my first TV.